Let me, this is a live picture of Michael Jackson's attorney, Thomas Mesereau. Expect to hear cheers from the fans outside that courthouse. Thomas Mesereau walking actually out of the courthouse, it appears. He's probably waiting for Michael Jackson to arrive, uh, greeting Michael Jackson at the front entrance to the courthouse. Uh, you'll see him look down at his watch, thinking to himself, oh, no, not again. But we can tell you that Jackson is on his way, uh, that he is expected to arrive in the next uh, six or seven minutes. That's his other attorneys there along with Thomas Mesereau. Uh, at this point, even if the judge is a little bit upset with Michael Jackson, it will only really matter uh, if he's convicted, because if he's acquitted, uh, he is walking out of that courthouse. Look at that scene right there. The fans all today it is it is fair to say there are hundreds of fans here at the courthouse literally blocked off uh, from the entrance thomas mesereau the attorney standing at the area where michael jackson will arrive uh, very soon when michael jackson's caravan arrives that sea of fans will split like the red sea they will divide them and allow the cars to come in that entrance that you see right there, uh, where Michael Jackson and his family and his closest friends will come. Boy, Tom Mesereau has got to be so nervous right now. Ron Richards, you know Tom Mesereau well. Sure, he's a cool cat, but this has got to be one of those moments where you are sweating as you're waiting. Well, you know, Dan, it's funny you said that because the last five days he's been a... Uh you know, absent without leave, you can't get him on the phone for more than a second. I mean, I, I really think the pressure of this, I mean, this is a culmination of his whole life's work in the, this one case, and I think that uh, he's been radio silent. It's indicative that the pressure is built on him. I agree with you. This almost looks like a slow speed chase, eerily familiar, but it's not. This is Michael Jackson's caravan, uh, his team of cars, his friends and family members coming to the courthouse uh, to be present for the verdict, although all of them may not get into the courtroom. When that verdict is read, uh, within half an hour, we are expecting Michael Jackson to learn his fate. I've said this before. Uh, it's worth saying again, this could be the last time for a while that Michael Jackson is driving uh, as a free man that Michael Jackson is outside the confines of a jail or a prison. On the other hand, uh, this could end up being the most reassuring day of Michael Jackson's life. Uh, if he is found not guilty of all of the charges, uh, then he is going to walk out and declare victory. The question, of course, and let me t send this one to suit to, uh, let me send this one to Michael Cardoza. Michael, if, if Michael Jackson is found guilty just of one of the lesser charges, let's say these jurors compromise. Let's say they say, we don't feel we had enough here to convict him of the molestation, but we do believe right. that he was serving alcohol to kids. And as a result, we're going to find him guilty of all four of the misdemeanor alcohol charges. What would happen to him? I, I jump through the ceiling with glee. I mean, it's like, great, that's a win. That's a huge win for them. The most that could be done would be a year in the county jail. That's what each of those counts carries. But, you know, I don't see in that case. That would be certainly a jury compromise. He would be let to walk right out of the courtroom. He'd go home to Neverland tonight. He'd be brought back in 20 court days unless they waive time, unless they said we could go more than 20 days with a probation report on those. It'd be a, a slap on the hand. I, I don't think Melville would even put him in jail for that. So that'd be a huge victory huge. for the defense if they find him guilty of the misdemeanors. It'd be, you know, not enough for the felonies. We'll give you a little DA, but not much. And it might be a message to Michael. Hey, Michael, wake up. Don't do this anymore. Yeah. We did you on misdemeanors this time. Don't be back in this courtroom or any courtroom and again because next time it'll be a felony. Yeah, and the form, the formal penalty for that is up to a year in prison. Um, you can right. get parole, County jail, a fine, not a combination. County of a, jail. Right. Yeah, that's fair. That's, that's true. My, 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 my sheet here says prison. You're right. It would be the county jail. Um, one year in jail, parole, a fine, or a combination of parole and a fine. But the bottom line is I don't think anyone expects that Michael Jackson would serve time uh, if he's convicted of just the misdemeanor counts uh, in this case. But again, uh, that, that would basically mean that these jurors were not convinced that Michael Jackson 
had molested a child uh, beyond a reasonable doubt. Susan Filan is correcting me, saying it would be probation, uh, not parole. Right, fair enough. Parole would be after he served time. Uh, probation uh, would be basically if they're keeping an eye on him, make sure he doesn't commit another crime uh, in that period. Uh, I'll bring Susan back in a minute because we're using our camera here that usually is assigned to Susan to take a look at that shot you're looking at right now. That is a uh, shot of the fans outside the court. Let's, let's, let's come back and let's, let's uh, well, we'll just we'll listen to Susan. Susan, so you were just writing me notes about this, about, about probation, not parole. This is, again, in the event that Michael Jackson is just convicted of the lesser crime of providing alcohol to a minor but not of any of the felonies, what happens? Yeah, I think he walks. I think he walks out the door. I think he goes home. I think that he might get probation because I think the judge might find that some kind of psychological treatment is appropriate in this case, maybe some kind of alcohol treatment, substance abuse treatment. Um, obviously, this is a person who's got problems, and perhaps through probation they can be addressed. No one's ever been able to make Michael Jackson do anything he hasn't wanted to do. But once he's uh, under the scrutiny of Judge Melville and probation, that may change. But I have to agree, uh, if it's just these misdemeanors, he's not going to be remanded. I think it would look like vindictive uh, sentencing almost. It would be treating him much differently than another similar situated defendant. So I think he walks, and yeah. I think he wins. We, we are, are continuing our special yeah. coverage of a verdict in the Michael Jackson case. You have been seeing live pictures of Michael Jackson's caravan racing to the courthouse to hear uh, the verdict. At this point, the jurors know what it is. The judge may know what it is, but that's about it. Uh, the prosecutors, the defense attorneys, Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson's family do not know what verdict these jurors have reached and they are expected to arrive at the courthouse in the next few minutes. Tom Mesereau, the attorney for Michael Jackson, is literally waiting outside the courthouse to usher Jackson in and then we will hear, at the same time as you hear, the verdicts being read as we've got a live audio feed of that that we are going to be able to play for you and we're going to be able to hear it as we're all sitting out here outside the courthouse and of course immediately after that verdict is read we'll have reports for you on what happened inside uh, the courtroom as well so we have got full coverage we're expecting press conferences to occur after the verdict is announced as well there again a live shot of the caravan stuck behind some cars but at any moment expect to hear a roar of cheers from those fans who are eagerly awaiting anything from Michael Jackson. We're told now uh, that they expect him to be here within five minutes. That's what the fans are waiting for, and that is what uh, the court is waiting for as well. Uh, Michael Cardoza, no big deal that he's late now, right? I mean, we talked about him being late no, up to this point. Bottom line is here, it's, no. it's neither here nor there. Now, what are they going to do to him if he's convicted? give him 10 more minutes in state prison, it really doesn't make any difference. If he's found not guilty, the judge won't do anything. I mean, look at traffic, look what's going on here. I mean, this is where the judge will be compassionate and understanding and say, eh, big deal. Let's just read the verdict and move on. You know what will be interesting, though, doubling back to uh, your conversation about being put on probation? I think it's going to be fascinating if he's convicted of a misdemeanor yeah. and put on probation, yeah, whether you. he will survive probation. So that, that, that in itself, can he obey the rules of the probation departments? So right. I, if he's found guilty, that's going to be interesting, like I say. Michael, it's Lisa Daniels. I'm going to pick up the coverage from here. Again, if you're just joining us, the jurors have reached a verdict in the Michael Jackson case. We received the official word at 3.15 that the verdict has been reached. And at 4.30, we were supposed to hear the verdict, but Michael Jackson had not arrived at the courthouse. Now we're being told that Michael Jackson will be here within the next...